Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Happy New News at 5.30 with an update on a Mesa couple that says their bank is holding about $50,000 of their money hostage. It's a lot of cash, so they're having to borrow money from family and friends just to survive and pay their daily living expenses at this point. On your side, Gary Harper is here with the latest. Uh, we've been waiting for an update on this one. Yeah, first told everybody about this just a couple of weeks right. ago, and I do have some new information, but I'm going to tell you right now, it is not good news, unfortunately. We're talking about Chase Bank, the couple you're about to see has three bank accounts with Chase for a total of around $48,000. But three months ago, Chase froze those accounts without any explanation, and now it's refusing these viewers access to their own money. Here's the update. Since Barb and Steve White explained their unique situation in a previous On Your Side report, their issue still remains unresolved. I feel like I'm guilty until proven innocent, basically. Turns out their three Chase bank accounts totaling more than $48,000 were frozen and closed by their own bank, Chase. Now, the only explanation Chase is giving the retired couple is that it's related to recent activity on the account. Barb and Steve say, what does that even mean? That is like beating your head against a brick wall. It literally is because you go through person after person. I can't, I, oh, I'm, I'm not sure I can help you with this. Let me t let you talk to this person. Even with On Your Side's involvement, Chase Bank continues to hold the couple's money hostage without explanation. And it's been three months. It's very frustrating. Very, very infuriating, actually, would be a good word. <laughs> Well, here's the update. These two retirees have now resorted to suing Chase, one of the largest banks in the nation. According to the lawsuit obtained by On Your Side, their lawyer writes that he has contacted Chase Bank's executive office by email and telephone on multiple occasions since, but received no explanation regarding why Chase Bank seized the White's money. He goes on to say Chase Bank has been enriched by seizing the White's money and that the Whites have been impoverished by Chase Bank's failure to allow them access to their own money. They're asking for the return of their $48,000, interest, and attorney's fees, and any other relief the court deems just and proper. Well, On Your Side keeps asking Chase Bank for some kind of explanation for holding all this money. Again, it's $48,000, and it's been three months. They're refusing to share any information with us. More importantly, they're refusing to share any information with the On Your Side couple. Been doing this a long time, you guys. Hmm. Never seen a stranger story than this one. Very bizarre. 48 grand, freeze the accounts, no reason given, and the poor people are trying to are having to borrow money from friends and family just to survive and make out their bills. It's not where I thought the story was going. I yeah. thought you'd be here with a different kind of update I tonight. wish yeah. I had a better update. Um, but, you know, the lawsuit, maybe that can get something cranking. But, you know, that's the route they have yeah. to take right now to get their money back. It's dire straits. It's miserable that they're considered impoverished when they've got nearly 50K yeah. that they just can't get their hands on. Right. Well, Dang we're not it. going away. So we're going to see where this lawsuit goes, and hopefully we can pry 48 grand out of chase and get back to these people. Do right. the right Look thing. To get yeah. them their money back. Yeah. Thank you, Thanks. Gary. You bet. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.